Tomorrow's highs, we will say temperatures around into the mid and upper 80s. High temperature and high humidity. The heat indexes will be approaching well over 100 degrees. Heaviest rain. I wouldn't be surprised to see easily 10 to 15 inches in the path of this storm. The conditions around here remain quite pleasant. However, with Hurricane Jean right off the coast, this is truly the calm before the mild storm. conditions across the east coast. 72 in Boston, 69 in Detroit, 84 in Dallas. Which High levels of mercury may have killed thousands of fish earlier this week at this popular swimming hole. However, quickly zoom in on the satellite. It has a very well-defined eye with great outflow in all quadrants. As Hurricane Jean approaches the coastline, many fishermen here are taking advantage of the change in tides, hoping to catch the big one before the big hurricane arrives. Good evening, everybody. Let's take a look at today's forecast high of 89 degrees and take a look at our record low of back in 1897 is 62 degrees. I don't think we'll be hitting that tonight, but we never know. Look at the popular number around the region. 77 degrees in Ocala, 73 in Melbourne, 81. Let's take a closer look into the region of our overnight lows. We will have 72 in Pinellas Park, downtown Tampa, 70 in St. Petersburg, 76 degrees. Tomorrow's highs, we will see temperatures around into the mid or upper 80s. We will see 85 in Sun City Center. We will also see 86 in downtown Tampa and in Brandon, 85. Let's take a look at the national lows for tomorrow morning. Wake up time around Washington, D.C., 62 degrees, 65 in Dallas and downtown Tampa, 73. Tomorrow's forecast highs, 84 in Dallas. Let me step out of the way for just one moment so you can take a look we have in Phoenix. 100 degrees, the century mark, the high temperature in the country. Moving on to the Boat and Beach forecast for tomorrow, it will be a beautiful, picture-perfect day on the beach. 88 degrees, a light northerly wind, seas, 1 to 3 feet, a little bit of choppiness, but nothing to worry about. And for the forecast for tomorrow as we wake up, 72 degrees at wake up, 86 in the drive home commute, and our forecast for the remainder of the work week, 86 tomorrow. The next chance of rain will be on Sunday with highs around 85, and Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday temperatures will be around 90. Now back to you at the desk. Good morning everybody, my name is Steve Dreyer and we have the latest on Hurricane Jean. As it makes landfall as a Category 3 hurricane with a maximum sustained winds of 120 miles an hour just north of West Palm Beach. Taking a look at the satellite imagery with a beautiful 40 mile eye wide with excellent outflow, which means it's a very, very healthy hurricane. Zooming in on the radar, we can see it making landfall just as we speak with the strongest winds and the heaviest rainfall around the eye wall. I wouldn't be surprised to see easily 10 to 15 inches of rain, and we've had reports of maximum sustained winds north of the eye wall are between 100 and 115 miles per hour around Jupiter Inlet. The forecast to track takes Gene from landfall to about 8 a.m. Sunday, moving west-northwest across the state, cutting the interstate and I-4 between Orlando and Tampa. And as we zoom into the region, our forecast track depicted by the red line with deviation north or south, anywhere from Tampa to Orlando. And with any landfalling hurricane, there's always a risk of tornadoes. These counties depicted in red and east have the greatest threat. And as we break down the forecast through the remainder overnight hours and into tomorrow, as of midnight, winds around 30 miles per hour quickly rising up between 40 and 60 miles per hour, then as the storm moves away and weakens, the winds will diminish. However, the rain squalls will still be there, and with temperatures in the mid-80s, it's going to be a great day once the storm gets out of our region. We'll have another update in about one hour. That's correct. A major hurricane is heading towards the Caribbean Sea, and what concerns us the most is that by next week, this hurricane may be heading up towards the east coast of the United States. Now let's fly over the storm. It is still days away from the United States. Hurricane Francis is north of the Lesser Antilles and moving towards the west. This Category 4 storm is gaining strength and may become a Category 5 hurricane. Right now, this hurricane has a well-defined eye. The outflow boundary in all quadrants of the storm are strong. Here is the current latitude and longitude if you are plotting at home. Winds are currently sustained at 135 miles per hour. Now look at the projected path. Francis will be moving towards the Bahamas. Residents in the Caribbean need to be making evacuation plans at this time. What concerns us most is that this system may turn to the north, sending up the east coast. We will take a closer look at the projected path of Hurricane Francis in less than 10 minutes. Now back to you at the news desk.